Let's start solving question number 33. Prove that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides in distinct points, then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. Using the above theorem, prove that a line through the point of intersection of the diagonals and parallel to the base of the trapezium divides the non-parallel sides in the same ratio. So here, to solve this question, we have drawn a triangle ABC in such a way that here DE line is parallel to BC. This DE line is parallel to BC line. So we will write down given DE is parallel to BC. And what we have to prove? We have to prove here that the other two sides are divided in the same ratio, which means AD divided by DB is equal to AE divided by EC. Now, to solve this further, we are going to do construction that is, we will join first of all CD and BE. Also, we will make two perpendiculars here. DN perpendicular to AE and EM perpendicular to AD. Let's continue with the proof now. Here, area of triangle ADE. How do we get the area of triangle? Half into base into height, right? So, for triangle ADE, half into base is AD. We are considering AD as base. So, that would have EM as the perpendicular. Mark it as your first equation. Now, again, to find out the area of triangle ADE, we can have half into base as AE and perpendicular as DN. Mark it as equation 2. Now, we will be taking area of triangle BDE. For it, half into base would be BD and perpendicular would be EM. Mark it as equation 3. Now, observe here for triangle BDE, it is an obtuse angle triangle, right? Angle BDE is an obtuse angle. So, therefore, the perpendicular will lie outside the triangle. Now, let's find out the area of triangle DEC. It is also an obtuse angle triangle, right? Where angle DEC is an obtuse angle. So, its area would be half into base here would be EC and perpendicular would be DN which is lying outside the triangle, DN. Mark it as equation 4. Now, since here triangle BDE and triangle DEC are made on same base DE and between the same parallel lines therefore area of triangle BDE will be equal to area of triangle DEC. Look, triangle BDE and triangle 
DEC they are made on the same base DE right and they are between the same parallel lines DE and BC DE is parallel to BC right so these two triangles are between the same parallel lines DE and BC as well as they are made on the same base DE so therefore their areas will be equal now using this we will be writing first of all area of triangle ADE we will find out its ratio with area of triangle BDE this is equal to half into AD into EM divided by half into BD into EM half and half cancel EM and EM cancel on simplifying it we are going to get AD divided by BD now same way we will try to write down area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle DEC it would be equal to half into AE into DN divided by half into EC into DN equal to AE divided by EC. So, the first equation we have written using equations 1 and equation 3 and the next statement we have written using equation 2 and equation 4. Now, observe very carefully, we have in the numerators, in both the statements, we have numerator as area of triangle ADE and the denominators as area of triangle BDE and here area of triangle DEC. But from the equation 5, we know that area of triangle BDE is actually equal to the area of triangle DEC, right? So, we can write down what? We can write down area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle BDE this is going to be equal to area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle DEC and this is going to give us AD divided by BD equal to AE divided by EC which is what we needed to prove. Now we have to solve this question further using this theorem we have to prove that a line through the point of intersection of the diagonals and parallel to the base of the trapezium divides the non-parallel sides in the same ratio so using this theorem let's try to prove that here we have made a trapezium ABCD in which we have joined first of all AC and BD parallel line PQ which is parallel to CD as well as AB. We have named the point of intersection of AC, BD and PQ as point O. Now, using the theorem, basic proportionality theorem, we are going to write down here. Here, we have to prove that the non-parallel sides are in the same ratio, right? So, which means here we have to prove AP divided by PD is equal to BQ divided by QC. This is what we need to prove. Now, to prove it further, we will take two triangles. First of all, we will take triangle ADC. In this triangle, as you can observe, PO is parallel to DC. PO is parallel to DC. So, therefore, we can write down using basic proportionality theorem. In short, you can write down BPT also. Basic proportionality theorem. We will write down AP divided by PD is equal to AO divided by OC. Mark it as equation 1. 
Now observe in triangle ACB we have OQ line which is parallel to AB. OQ which is parallel to AB. So this is going to give us what? Using basic proportionality theorem once again. We can write down AO upon OC is equal to BQ upon QC. Mark it as equation 2. Now, from the above two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, what can we conclude? We can conclude that AP divided by PD is equal to BQ divided by QC. In brackets, you can write down using equation 1 and 